Welcome to OTB, Outside the Box, Boxing Class 101. We was lucky enough to sit down with the legendary Stephen Breadman Edwards. And um, amongst the gems that he dropped in this interview, which y'all might want to go watch, go back and peep it out and hold, he, he did let us know that Caleb Plant is in Philadelphia and he is in the stable now. And um, here's what we're going to be looking forward from out of them. Talk to us a little bit about what you want to bring out of Caleb Plant and what we can see different in Caleb Plant. Well, the thing is, right, you know, when you got a fighter, you don't want to change him too much because when you change him, you know, when you teach stuff to a fighter, right, like Jeez. it's hard it's hard for me to say I want you to go out there and fight on the inside like J-Rock. It don't work that way. Jeez. You know, You know what I'm saying? It doesn't work that way. What you do is you practice things over and over again. And then what happens is one day they just get it. You know, um, a lot of the moves that people seen Julian Williams use, those are moves I taught him years and years ago. I didn't go into a fight and say, pull a guy's guard now or bump him with your shoulder or cross over from your left to your right. I don't say none of that stuff. You, right. you, you drill it, you drill it, you drill it. And then one day he sees it and then he does it. So I don't want to change Caleb. He is what he is. What I do want to do is expose him to other things so when guys get in certain places with him, he'd be able to handle himself. You know what I mean? I don't want to make him an inside fighter. I don't want to make him like Julian or Karan or anything like that. I just want him to be himself. But when guys do do certain things to him, now he'll have an answer for it. And um, he can fight. You know, he can fight. I got a lot to work with with him. He works really hard. He's a professional. That's the number one thing. He's a professional. Like, Ooh, talk like, to us about how 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 important that is. It's really important, man. You come to the gym, guys don't have headgear, they don't have the gloves, they don't have this, they don't have that, they don't they don't eat the right way, they don't have recovery shakes. They, Caleb got all of that. You know, he <laughs> walk in the gym, everything is perfect. He got his rope, he got his gloves, he got everything. I don't have to say, man, where's your stuff at? He's he got all that on time. He's like, Coach, I gotta go get a massage. He's he's a professional. Works wow. really hard, gives a hundred miles an hour. That's all I ask for, man. You know what I mean? The wins and the losses, they're gonna be what they're gonna be. You know, we live in this little warped sense of reality where you think the guy ain't gonna take an L. If you fight enough tough fights and you can't handpick every opponent, you're gonna take an L. You know what right. I mean? It's part of the game. You know, right. so um he's he's a disciplined kid. Uh, I knew him for a long time. He was with PBC a little bit after us. And, um, you know, you fighting on the same undercards and stuff like that. And, and we, um, and, you know, we always had a good relationship. Uh, I didn't say much about him picking me as a coach cause I didn't know he was going to pick me. You know, um, he was interviewing a lot of guys and working out with a lot of guys, you know, great trainers, you know, so me and him had chemistry. I went out to Vegas. He came out to Philly, came back the second time. And, you know, he kind of decided to go with me. And um, I'm just going to build off of what he is. You know, it's hard to change a guy that's late in the game. But you can do specific things. You can add to their conditioning. You can add to their mental state. You can put them through different things. And you could just show them solutions to different problems. There's little things that guys was doing to him that they're not going to be able to do to him no more. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, he's money when he's boxing. And everybody, you know, they, they can't outbox them, so they try to bully him. So now we got little things for that when they try to, um, you know, him and Julian actually kind of fight similar. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, two they, similar they, styles. Yeah, right? they got similar styles. So some of the things that I that I had to tweak with Julian when guys would can't couldn't outbox him, I'll do it. You know, I can do it with Caleb, but um, he's a pleasure to work with, and um, you know, we'll see where it goes. Uh, he's fighting Anthony That's Durrell in October. So that should be a good fight, and then we go on from there. Well, you ain't have to hear it from nobody else. You heard it from Bread Man himself. Caleb Plant is in the stable. 
He checked in in Philadelphia, PA. Philly, wrap your arms around Kayla Plant, man, make him comfortable. Respect that man for realizing that it was something that he needed. It was something that he was missing in his toolbox. And he definitely going to the tool store to get it. So salute to him and salute to Stephen Brand, man, Edwards, for, be, for, will, for being willing to accept him. You understand? And being willing to build the relationship with him as a fighter. And uh, we applied that at OTB. We always apply it when fighters are willing to um, realize that it's something that they might be missing. It's something that somebody else might can teach them. And, and to be willing to go out and learn it from somebody else. You understand? So we definitely salute um, Stephen Breadman Edwards as well as Caleb Plant for getting back in the kitchen and uh, really really um brushing him up i love the fact that he said i'm not gonna change caleb i like that caleb is caleb you understand because it's important we always talk about at otb boxing class how when you try and change a fighter we just seen this in the roley romero fight where roley was very young in his career which means he still have room to grow in the areas he just showed us a lot of improvement in these areas however at at um a hostile environment you'll resort back to these bad habits and you'll become the fighter that you was so him being smart enough to know boxing is muscle memory as well as his um 90 as well as his his mental memory you understand but your brain got to be able to tell your your muscles what to do and um he said that he was just gonna drill certain things into his craft until they became secondary this is a path of greatness you understand and um we was big on caleb i was on caleb's ass because i felt like caleb had a big layoff i felt like caleb should have been um should have been taking advantage of the fact that he just came off a loss to the pound for pound best fighter in the world. So to me, I felt like um Caleb Plant should have got back in the ring, got right back in the ring. You didn't have a loss that was so devastating that it was detrimental to your perception amongst fans. You understand? And you didn't have a loss that was detrimental to your mental as far as getting back in the ring. Meaning you held your motherfucking on. You had a lot to hold your head on in that fight i just think that you never grasp the horns and um really pursue winning the fight i think that your top your um when you did good you was kind of surprised you did good you understand and um not so much a surprise as in as if you doubted your talent but we all get caught up in the myth you understand and i believe that a lot of people get caught up in the myth when it comes to Beva when it comes to um, certain levels of greatness, as we can acknowledge that that Canelo Alvarez is a level of greatness. You understand? That man can fight his ass off in the pocket. And top five, I believe, I believe that in my book, he may be top 10 fighting in the pocket on the front foot. So I definitely applied, yeah, you know I mean, the um, performance that you had. However, when I seen the performance that Bival put on, I didn't feel like that was a performance that you weren't capable of giving us. So, um, with that being said, shots out to you for being willing to go in to see somebody that um, that can brush you up on those things. And then he also told us how much of a professional you was, how much you take care of your body, which we want to um, always, which we always encourage out of fighters as well as us as um, as 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 humans you have to preserve your body you don't get but one your ass ain't going to whatever god you serve and asking for another one um i, I left out i wanted to ask bread man about about um about um fighters in philly that that didn't make it so yeah i mean y'all get a chance man asking what fighters didn't make it you understand but back to uh back to our interview which was awesome. Y'all go check that out in full, man. That is a great interview. He was gracious enough to really sit down with the OTB Boxing Class one-on-one -on -one, um, subscribers and, and really give y'all a sense of, of the mechanics of boxing as well as the history of Philadelphia as well as, um, you know, a lot of other jewels. Is, j-rock moving up to 160 to get y'all a hint but man y'all go check that out man there's some gems in there i ain't gonna hold you i'm gonna have a couple more videos um breaking down some of the things that he said in fullness but 
But he gon' he also but the last thing he told us was he gonna be fighting Anthony Durrell. What y'all think about that? I think that's a good fight. Shots out to Flint, Michigan. Y'all know that's our that them our brothers right there in Ohio. Yeah, you know I mean, so shots out to um Anthony Durrell for 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 getting that fight as he's coming off a knockout, a a devastating knockout. Now, that's a knockout that your career don't make it back from. And we know about how Caleb Plant um, is trying. We know about how he had problems with pressure. He had problems with the pressure that Canelo gave him. Canelo made that a tough fight. If y'all looked at some of them clips I gave you, I gave you a few instances, uh, um, things that Brad was talking about where he said fighters try and rough him up. We know how rough Anthony the dog Darrell is. So shots out to Caleb Plant for taking that fight. That's a tough fight. A lot of y'all think that Anthony Darrell is over the hill. Let me tell y'all something about Flint, Michigan. Y'all gonna have to beat him out of boxing. I, I very well doubt that um that that any anybody has the heart and soul to beat him out of boxing. This is a tough minded individual, man. He came up off the strength. You understand? Definitely an Olympian. He's well accomplished, you understand? Well respected in the sport. And we respect Anthony Durrell enough at OTB boxing class to know that Caleb Plant went to go see the right person approaching this fight. You understand? Shots out to him for that. But we gonna wrap it up. We ain't gonna take too much of y'all time. Man, we appreciate y'all sitting down with us. Man, we got a lot of dope content coming up. We gonna have the ladies dropping this week. Clarissa Shields, Savannah Marshall. We gonna start off with Ohio Zone, Alicia Bumgarner, you dig, and um, Michaela Mayer. And I think y'all gonna be surprised at a lot of the film that we ended up finding out of this um, film breakdown. I'm really looking forward to doing that. I'm gonna try and bring some ladies on, you dig, that, that know the sport of boxing very well. Some of y'all I may or may not be too familiar with him, but um, we wrapping up on that. And then we got Anthony Joshua Alexander Yusi. It's a great time, man. The film that's going to be dropping is something that y'all really should be looking forward to. As y'all know, it's fight night. Y'all go on ahead and get ready for Jose Benavidez, David Benavidez, I mean for Jose Benavidez Jr., David Benavidez, his little brother. And uh, he going to be fighting Danny Garcia. We got film on that, too. So go check that out. Man, we rapping. We hitting all four corners at OTB Boxing Class. TWT, the winning team, T-W-T.com. Y'all go check that out. Become a member. Then we going to be calling the fights tonight with Upper Echelon and Pool Counter. So y'all get on over there. As y'all know, I done touched base with my co-hosts, Loyal to the Game Boxing Talk. We gonna be coming back this week. Not to mention, we got a body to give y'all. Man, I'm about to hand y'all somebody's body like, like God damn it, like Killmonger. I just wanna know, is this y'all king? Is this y'all king? Is this y'all king? Then he going over the river. Shots out to BFTB for accepting the challenge. We gonna be getting it in in two weeks on Knockout TV. Boxing 86, we gonna have a face off, man. Let's get it, y'all. No OTB there. We want all the smoke. Fighting the sport, debating the sport. Eat that shit up, man. If you're looking for a well, uh, um, well class debate, yeah, you know I mean, we gonna have a moderator in the building, man. Shots out to Knockout 86 TV for building that stage for us. You understand? We gonna have a moderator, but man. It's going to be a great debate. Won't be a lot of yelling and cussing. You want to see the yelling and cussing and the shit talking. Get to the face off. That's going to be held at, um, probably at OTB Boxing Class. We'll let y'all know what platform we going to hold that on. But I just want to know, is this y'all king? Because he going over the river. It's all fun digging graves till your ass sitting in one. But salute to the homie for... um. For accepting the challenge. Y'all know OTB Boxing Class won't know the smoke, man. We gonna bring it. We gonna try and bring y'all boxing from a different, yeah, you know I mean, avenue, man. We got a lot of dope content, a lot of good ideas that's gonna be coming to y'all to keep um the sport, yeah, you know I mean, growing. But that's what we doing this for. This for the sport, this for the culture. Man, debating is a sport, fighting is a sport. Eat that shit up. Cause y'all know we want a big piece of the cake. Class dismissed.